barely running. So I'm gonna have to warm it up and then get the get it running with the choke open before I mess with this. But actually the first step is to make sure there's no vacuum leaks. So the idea here is that this has something that's more flammable than gasoline, so when you spray it, if it gets sucked into the vacuum, you'll hear a pickup of the engine speed. So nothing, so I think there's no vacuum leaks. The engine's warm. I'm gonna check this screw just just to see how close it is. So to the bottom. Half. One. That's bottomed out. So seems to be a little bit on the lean side so if we go half one one and a half two that's supposed to be the base setting so then if we turn the engine on and then we're supposed to adjust it from what until it dies and comes back and everything so let's see what happens here hear it, there's like a hissing. Yeah, so it's running very lean. I'm going to adjust the idle speed screw, which is here. I don't know if you can see that, but... Okay, so you make, just make contact there. See. That, and then you're supposed to go one full turn, no more than one and a half. So half one. Okay, and then I'm going to start it up again. Um, I think it may have been set really high idle. So if this doesn't work, you can't get it to idle here. Uh, the jets need to be changed. Barely running. Four again. Four. So it's one and a half. One and three quarter. See if we can go down a little bit.
one and a half turns in on the idle speed. one and three quarter. exhaust it back down a little bit so we're at one and three quarters turns now sometimes it just takes a while to figure these things out uh, when I had originally put in the K&N filter I knew that the the airflow would be a little bit higher so I did mess around um, with the adjustment screws but I was just kind of adjusted it from where it had been set from the original tune on this. I didn't want to change it too much and so it just ran fine. But after reading multiple tuning articles and kind of now tuning it myself carefully keeping track of each turn and backing out and putting it back multiple times, what had happened is the previous tuner used to the idle speed adjustment screw the idle speed screw too high, which exposes those transition uh, circuits. 
and then was adjusting with the idle mixture screw to go lean. So it was causing rich and then lean. So it balanced out and created a high idle, um, but the transition was getting all screwed up. And so that's probably why I experienced such rich conditions is that every transition probably was over rich, even though the idle, uh, they, they had canceled each other out. So now what I've done is I set the idle speed screw to one and a half turns which is correct. It keeps the throttle plates closed or mostly closed and keeps those transition circuits off when it's at idle and only exposes them when I want to transition. And then change the, I mean, the mixture screw from one and a quarter to one and three quarter, which uh, actually puts more fuel into the system at idle. So now uh, I'm getting enough fuel at idle and not exposing the transition uh, circuits while it's at low uh, speed. So that allows for um, correct functioning of all this. I shouldn't experience, even though I've enriched the idle uh, mixture screw, it should actually reduce the the rich conditions at, in all the transitions. And so it should level all those transitions out and not flood, flood the carb while I'm going into to throttle and on the main circuit. So hopefully that's fixed things. If I continue to have issues, um, then I will need to get in there and change the jets. But both of the idle speed screw and the idle mix screw, um, fuel, fuel mixture skew, screw, are within uh, tolerances now. So uh, sounds pretty good. Um, the next thing is to let it cool off and then come back and try a cold start and see if I've completely screwed up the, the carb at that point. Also, the choke is now working too, so a couple of things we've done with this, just let little things that are not very exciting, um, but need to be done and uh, take time to figure out. Oh, one other thing, one of the commenters had suggested that this is actually supposed to go up here and it makes sense um, that this plate is supposed to hold it so it doesn't come up because in current condition it's loose up and down it just keeps it from sliding but in a rollover the battery is going to slide up but I think I don't see any other way of doing it I think the, this battery group is much larger than the original one and if I put this up here uh, it's, my, it's going to come in contact with the lead so most people put it down here, but the original actual location is supposed to be holding the corner to keep it from going up.